Let's take a closer look at the new Ferrari SF25. One day after the big launch event in London, Ferrari tested the real car in Fiorano. And although it's the last year of the current regulations and the focus for all teams is on 2026 now, Ferrari did some bigger changes to their car and claimed that 99% is new. Front wing and nose look very similar to last year and if they bring something new, we will see it at testing next week, but not now. What is definitely new is their pull rod front suspension, which they changed from a push rod design last year. Why is pull rod better? Because with a pull rod design, the pedal box of the driver sits higher and makes space for better front wing extraction and less disturbance on the way to the floor entry. And it looks like they kept multiple mounting points of the rearward leg to change the suspension geometry if they need to. Another bigger change are the side pod inlets, which sit a lot further back than last year. There is a huge overbite, which provides a very clean surface on top, which pulls clean air down to the downforce producing parts at the back. Because this area is so important, they didn't use wrap or stickers here to not trip the flow. And the sausages are back, which keep the clean flow on the side pods for longer under yaw. At the same time, they are trying to keep cockpit losses close to the center, so they don't hit important parts at the back. Underneath, Ferrari keeps their scoop to collect losses to keep the undercut area as clean as possible. And this undercut area is huge. The side pod sits pretty high to allow huge volume to flow around it to the back. The huge cooling louvres in the important downwashing area are gone and openings are now only in the center of the car, so they can exit between beam and rear wing. Interesting is the small shark fin which transitions into center outlets. In general, the whole engine cover is low and downwashing to work the rear wing harder. Ferrari kept the pull rod design at the back, which makes it the only car with pull rods all around. Other teams use a push rod suspension at the back to have more space for a diffuser underneath, but Ferrari wants to keep a slimmer upper side for better airflow to the beam wing, and so they kept their pull rods. So Ferrari didn't hesitate to make bigger changes to their good bases of last year and improved a lot of details all around. They say they want to fight for the championship, which they already partly did last year. So what do you think? Will they be able to do that? And how will Hamilton perform in a Ferrari? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.